Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Science 7 which is all about speed and velocity. This will be the third quarter topic and week 1 to 2. This topic is a milk. Before we proceed to our proper discussion, let's have an activity first. For the direction, all you have to do is to write T if the statement is true and F if the statement covered at a given time. So the formula of the speed is equal to distance divided by time or in symbols, it is V is equal to D divided by T. We can express speed in terms of miles per hour or kilometers per hour or meters per second. So before we proceed to our proper discussion, let's have the second activity. So it is entitled, Who Walks Faster? So for the direction, all you have to do is to read the text inside the box, then answer the questions below to help Jen and Mary determine who walks faster. So let us now read the text. So Jen and Mary were given assignments to record the measured distance and time spent in school walking from their home to the school. So Jan's home is 400 meters, while Mary is 200 meters away from the school. It took 400 seconds for Jan, while Mary needed 200 seconds to reach the school. For question number one, compare how fast Jan walked than Mary. And the second one is, what is the basis of your answer in number one? So now let us solve for Mary's speed. So the given is the distance and the time. So distance is equivalent to 200 meters and the time is equivalent to 200 seconds. So what is asked in the problem? Um, the answer is the speed. So the formula of the speed is equal to distance divided by that time. So for the solution, all you have to do is to divide the distance and the Time. So the distance is 200 meters divided by the time, which is 200 seconds. The answer is 1 meter per second. 
So now let us solve for John's speed. So the given in the problem is the distance and the time. Distance is equivalent to 400 meters and the time is equivalent to 400 seconds. So what is us in the problem? It is the speed. So for the formula of speed, again, it is distance divided by the time. So 400 meters divided by 400 seconds. So the answer is one meter per second. Therefore, John is fast as Mary. So both have the same speed of one meter per second. When a direction is associated with speed, it refers to the quantity known as velocity. Thus, velocity is a speed in a given direction. Since velocity has direction, it uses displacement instead of distance. So this is the formula of velocity is equal to distance divided by the time. So in symbol, it is V is equal to D divided by T. As shown in figure 7a, the total distance from home to school is 3 km, while the displacement is 2 km east, as shown in figure 7b. Suppose you take 0 0.5 hour to travel from home to school, use the information in figure 7a and 7b to solve for the average speed and velocity. A change in velocity happens when there is a change in, the first one is magnitude or the speed, and the second one is the direction of motion, and the third one is both magnitude and the direction. Average speed is the total distance traveled divided by the total time of travel. Instantaneous speed is the speed of an instant in time. A vehicle has a speedometer that tells you the speed at that instant or at that moment in time. As the vehicle travels along a busy street, you will notice that the speedometer may read 30 km per hour. It may change to 65 km per hour as it passes an open free highway and zero when it stops. During the entire trip, the vehicle travels at the different speed. When you ride a vehicle, it is not only the speed that changes, but also its direction. A vehicle may travel north, west, east, or south. Average velocity is the total displacement. This is the final position minus the initial position traveled divided by, by the total time of travel. Instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object at an instant time. Constant motion refers to an object moving with constant speed or constant velocity. To have a constant velocity, both speed and direction must be the same. Example, a car running at the speed of 50 km per hour all throughout its travel in a straight line.